Bye, Spooky. Bye. So let's begin with a brief introduction about you. Kindly introduce yourself to the people watching. Okay, so uh, nothing. I'm just a normal human being who loves to write and speak, and this is what I have been doing all my life. I have been sharing my experiences, and a lot of them love it. So that's why I think I'm here today. Yeah, right. So the first question for you is: What makes a successful author and a speaker? So, what makes successful author and a speaker is to um, really uh, catch up with what is going on in people's mind. So, number one is what is going on in people's mind. Number two is what is going in the market. Number three is uh, speaking relevant stuff, and number four is uh, marketing and branding yourself really well. So, these are the four things which I I think very very important if anyone wants to really excel in speaking and writing career. Right. If one really enjoys it and build a brand around it, it can uh, eventually lead to his. Excel. Okay, so you really have some awesome connections. And how do you think networking helps to grab such opportunities? And how should one have the courage to not feel inferior and just go start a conversation? I think nobody is inferior. Nobody is superior. Um, when you study, uh, when you study spiritual. Quality. When you study deeper things, you realize that every person has his or her own importance. Okay, so never consider yourself very low or someone like really very superior. Hitler always says that considering yourself weak is the biggest of the crime. So, whoever is watching this, we, we all are on the same page. Um, it's just that someone is a little more busier. Someone is making a little more money because he have encashed uh, more opportunities, uh, but that doesn't mean that you are weak. So, if you want to speak to someone, just go ahead and speak to him. Don't uh, ever think you are small or you are low. That's right. Just consider yourself. Uh, like you know, have that courage at that moment and just go start a random conversation, and you never know what opportunity can uh, you grab from it. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, how to leave an everlasting impression wherever you go, and that people actually remember you, basically creating that recall value, maybe in uh, giving a speech or maybe introducing yourself as well. I think uh, uh, the biggest thing which I have been teaching in all my courses also is to have uh, an image of yourself. Maybe you know, creating something out of the box where people will remember you. Uh, creating something through which people will remember you for a long time. So for me, um, writing has been one thing where people remember me as an author for a long time. And whenever I, wherever I go, people introduce me like that. So this is something which has helped me for you or for someone else. You'll have to find out something which is new, which is uh, which is not a lot of people are doing. I think that is where recall comes because the name recall itself means that recalling you with something which is little unique. So finding an unique alternative for yourself is the key. And also being confident wherever you are is one of the things which has always uh, uh, helped me and which can help anyone out there. Right, confidence is the key. And uh, what do you think? Thinking out of the box and getting those creative ideas can literally help you. That uh, you know, get that one shot. I think yes, thinking out of the box means like keep doing the stuff and keep uh, keep experimenting with the things. One day will come where your experiment will suddenly uh, look like an overnight success, although it has never been an overnight success. But uh, just keep doing the stuff and you will see yourself uh, flying somewhere. That's absolutely so correct. Okay, so do you think the debut book to be launched by an author should come from a big brand name via traditional publishing for him or her to be, uh, you know, to become a bestseller? I think yes, because the distribution network always helps. 
uh, but yes uh, the fact that there are a lot of authors and there are very less publishers so there's demand and supply uh, scarcity is always there so i always suggest an author that you should try for a publisher but if you're not getting it then uh, just don't dishearten don't get disheartened you can also self publish it so it depends actually um, uh, what is that you are trying to do after it and this is also really true that some authors are really impatient and they do not wait want to wait for 6 months which is the you know waiting time for getting a response so what do you have to say about this yeah like i said it, it all it depends totally like you want to write uh, five books in three years or you want to write you know uh, you know three books in five years totally depends i want to write three books in five years and that's why i'm ready to wait i don't want to produce like books 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 because i take my own time i do a lot of i handle other businesses of mine i do other work also so depending upon what is your requirement because traditional publishing gonna take time that is for sure so depending upon what is that you are needing and what is that you are trying to do uh, is gonna be changing and is gonna be deciding factor uh, ki aap kya karoge exactly right what do you expect from your book and what is your end goal that you really matter yeah exactly exactly okay punk self publishing traditional publishing or maybe partner publishing uh, what would you choose and why i will choose always traditional publishing if i'm getting a big brand so yes for me uh, uh, associating myself with big brand and outsourcing everything is uh, is important because i have other things also to do so i want to write and i want someone else to promote i don't want to write and promote and distribute and pack and print and design i don't want to do all that stuff because i think i have a lot more things to do so that's why <laughs> traditional uh, things uh, like all that they call it traditional publishing uh, but i think they help you in distribution so yes associating myself with a good brand helps me right so like uh, showing your expertise in one of the things and outsourcing the others to other experienced people that yeah, really exactly, exactly yeah. that really uh, makes a difference in the quality and value of the content too yeah exactly Okay, so why should there be more gap between two books of an author, as you said, and what should be the average pricing of the book as well? Average pricing of the book should be in between one fifty to two hundred. That's it. Not more than that. So you should get one book per year. Uh, although I don't do it, I am trying to do it, but then my work. Um, uh, uh, responsibilities don't allow me to do that but yes ideally one book per year should be there okay so uh, i would really want to know this and it would be helpful for the audience too how were you able to crack one of the top tedx stages and one of the top publishing house being a beginner would love to hear there is a lot of hard work there is a lot of hard work there is a lot of networking there is a lot of patience there is a lot of things involved in doing that so yes uh, uh, i have been meeting a lot of people i have been putting a lot of money to meet uh, Uh, you know vvips i have been uh, networking a lot i have been traveling a lot i have been meeting people i have been greeting people i have been in touch with them so i think that these are the qualities which help anyone to you know uh, get to the that to that level so yes, if you're watching if anyone is watching this always network and network with lot of people right we see this scooty but nobody can really understand what kind of hard work goes behind this uh, it it really involves a lot of patience and you have to be continuously you know uh, uh, achieving believe to achieve that yeah, yeah exactly you have to you have to do a lot of stuff right okay so how can anybody improve his or speaking skills to be able to gain that respect from others only improve by doing a lot of podcasts and a lot of videos so if you want to improve your speaking skill you have to keep 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 recording a lot of videos recording a lot of content and you will see that years by years years by years months by months it increases and it gets to a point where 
you just rock so so just keep practicing it that's the only key right okay so what would your advice to the people watching about dreaming big and working smart to achieve those desires catch the trend only three words catch the trend that's okay. it nothing else. no gyan no bakwas catch the trends so would you like to give more insight into it like what it does it literally means that means that when um uh, if you see like um, when web 1 was launched in back in 1998 uh, people who were blocking people who were socializing people who just understood what is internet bloomed and went, they went to the next level when web 2 was launched uh, in the time of 2008 9 10 11 12 when facebook came then instagram came then youtube came people who took the right first they are at the top most position now web 3 is coming where we are talking about metaverse we are talking about nfts we are talking about cryptos we are talking about a lot of stuff so anybody who can judge and who can understand what's going to be in the future and if that person is taking it straight i think that is the smartest way of working and taking yourself to the next level about it right if you can attach your creativity what's trending in the market and industry uh hats off like you go viral and you are discovered by people okay yeah So yeah. lastly would you want to talk about your upcoming program or workshops if any yeah i am i am i'm finishing a book on virat and that is keeping me so busy so it's 90% done in 3 4 months people will be able to see it it's an amazing book it is inspiring me so much and it is going to inspire everyone who wanna be reading it so that's the next book which i am coming up with i wish you all the best for your next book and Thank you so much for your lovely time, and I'm so sorry you have to wait a lot. But I have a lot of uh, I have really, really a hectic time going on, and I'm sure you must have experienced it by now. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Kriti, and have a great, great time. And it was lovely talking to you. Likewise, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you were able to come here, and thank you so much for your time.